Hey everyone, what's going on and welcome back to The Med Life. My name is Dr. Adam Goodkoff. Today we are going over all of the masks that I have seen and used in the last year over this pandemic. I'm gonna review them on how they fit, how I feel they seal, and so much more to help you pick what works best for you. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. First things first, today's video is sponsored by Canopy. This is their new mask and it's honestly really cool. They did send me all of the masks for this video and help support us at The Med Life, but I want to give them credit. They said I have free reign to do this mask review and to give an honest opinion and rank their mask among the others. They want very honest feedback and that's what they're gonna get today. We're gonna go through all of the masks and see my opinion on them. Let's jump right into it. Circular 3M N95 mask. Uh, I'll be honest and upfront, this is my least favorite N95 of all times. Um, I think they're a pain to get on and off. They're very uncomfortable. They cause me to get nose sores. I'll put it on and we can talk about it. So here's my voice as I have it off and then when we get it on, this is my voice now. So there's not a ton of change. Um, again, voice with it on and voice with it off. So obviously it's much more clear. You can hear me enunciating words better but it's not terrible with it on. Comfort on this mask, I would say low. I, I get really, really bad nose ulcers from this one or pressure sores from it. Um, it just doesn't fit. My face is in a circle, I guess, so it doesn't fit well. Voice projection, medium. I think you can hear me well, but it's definitely worse than a level three surgical mask. The breathability. Actually, this moves air really well. I don't find it very hard to breathe in this. It only gets hard when you're, back in the day, when we were high risk and wearing a surgical mask over an N95, it got much more difficult to breathe, but for just itself, it's actually not too bad. Ease of donning and doffing, I actually find it very low with this mask. So it kind of is a two-step system. You have to take the bottom off first and then hold it down and then come up and pull from the back and take the top off and then the mask can come away from your face. If you touch the front of the mask, you've contaminated yourself. So this one's actually a pain to get on. And same thing, trying to put this thing on you gotta go like this, get this strap, and then you gotta kinda grab the bottom where it's clean and go over your head and around. I don't find the donning and doffing of this mask to be easy. Feeling of security. To be fair, when I have a clean shaven face, I do feel this mask gives a good seal. I feel safe wearing it um, and safe going into patient rooms. So I guess I would say from medium to high on the safety uh, end of things. Next up is the famous Duckbill Fluid Shield Mask. It fits my face better. You hold the straps, everything's on the inside. You hook your chin, pull it over. So donning and doffing is very easy. This area on the side is not part of the filtration. So I feel okay touching it out here because it's not what's pulling air through. It's just where the mask is stamped. I pinch it down. And now this fits my face a lot better. You can see it contours my face out. There's not as much pressure right on my nose. So I much prefer this mask. I think that it's also easier to hear, although it's not perfect. I do think it's easier to hear me in this mask than the 3M mask, but splitting hairs, they're both about the same. Let's run through the list. Comfort on this mask for me is actually high. I can wear this mask all day without having any sores. Voice projection, I would give this a medium. Again, it's not terrible. You can hear me, but you're definitely gonna lose words here and there that I have to repeat myself. Breathability, it's good. It's actually good. I will say that this mask, collapses down. So if you're doing CPR and you're really pulling some air, this mask is going to collapse down and it gets a little bit annoying. Um, the 3M mask does seem to stay, you can see that when, <laughs> when I breathe quickly, it will pull in. So the 3M mask seems to stay a little bit better. Uh, if I had to go between these, I choose this every single time. It's a small setback for me, but I, I do have to point it out because it exists. The straps on these are kind of these uh, blue rubber that seem to have infinite stretchabilities until they don't and break. So they are more comfortable on your face, I find, and they're not running up across your eyes like that. You see there's nothing over where that the area that gives me acne. Lastly, feelings of security are high in this mask. This feels really nice. It seals well across all of my face. I feel like I'm getting a really good seal, and I can tell that when I breathe in, I'm pulling air through that mask. It's not leaking in anywhere else. I'm really drawing that air in. So I feel good in this mask. It's one of my favorite disposable N95s. The Castle Grade Mask. This is kind of a three-piece sandwich design similar to what Envo did. It's, it's very flimsy and soft. So to be honest, just looking at it, it doesn't inspire confidence. Okay, so I'm trying, oh, oh. So I'll hold it here and then kind of just like they do in the airline videos, pull it over. I think that's how the strap would go. Okay, so that's about the strap. 
So initial, this is actually the first time I've ever used this mask. This is awful uh, right now. I need to adjust it. So it's, I think it's too small for my face. I'll do the best I can. Again, this is the first time I put this on. I would never wear this clinically. Let's talk about, I'm yelling. If I take this away, I'm actually yelling. So I'm just used to it. Wow, it doesn't move a lot of air. Okay, I'm gonna take it off so my eyes are working and we can talk here. Comfort on that is a zero for me. It's a low. It's very uncomfortable. It doesn't fit my face right. Um, the material is this neoprene that's very slippery, so it's just moving freely all over my face. Voice projection, I would say, is pretty low in this. For something that really seems so unrestrictive, it just has this little area um, to, to, I guess, let things through. Breathability, again, same problem. It's a very small area that uh, air is being drawn through. It's not actually this whole thing, so it was very hard to move air. If I was doing CPR, definitely would have a hard time pulling enough air through this. I would never wear this in a patient room. I'm not knocking it. Again, I got nothing against the company. It's just for me, this doesn't work. Ease of donning and doffing, incredibly low. Very difficult to get this to don and doff safely. And the overall security for me, very low. So this, this mask is not something that I would want to use. Next up, we have a mask called the Octo Mask. I've never used this mask mask before so we're gonna test it out now together for the first time oh it looks like looks like I'm gonna have to put the bottom on first it's kind of a doozy I got this big like strap hanging around here so oh. R.I.P. my hair all right I think we're gonna have to go like this oh <laughs> and then just yep come up and then okay good so I didn't have to touch it very much um, I've got it on my face. I guess, I guess I have to tighten this even more. This is weird. The straps are in my eyes. Like, uh, my actual eyes are touching this strap. So, it doesn't, gosh, ow. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get. Comfort, pretty low for me. The straps are actually in my eyes. Um, I wouldn't be able to wear eye protection with this directly. I'd have to wear a face shield or something. It's also, um, comfort-wise, it's pressing on my nose. If you could hear it, that's my voice. Oh, gosh. That's my voice without. I'm taking this thing off. It pushed on my nose like this and made it very hard to breathe, so I would not want to wear that long-term. Breathability of this mask, medium. It actually was easy to pull air. Ease of donning and doffing, I would say it's like medium to low. I mean, once you get it on, it seems fine, but um, kind of difficult to actually get it onto the to the face initially and, and I'm not looking forward to taking this thing back off. For security, I don't feel like there's a good seal on this mask. It doesn't fit my face well. It doesn't contour to my face at all. This little amount of rubber is not helping, especially up in the nose. These straps are honestly terrible and I'm not I'm not trying to pan every mask here. Oh, zero for donning and doffing. God, I don't know how to get this off. Oh. I'm gonna do the Envo mask next. Now I have used this mask clinically. I bought this myself. Um, to try something because I was getting really bad sores from the N95s. So I can provide a little more insight on this because I've used this clinically. Not bad. I think the voice quality is really good in this. Voice quality without the mask, voice quality with the mask, it's very good. There's a drop-in N95 filter here that's easily replaceable. This is an exhalation plug. You can put a plug on it from the inside. I will say, it feels too small for me. It's above my chin bone and just barely above my nose. Now, I like the height that it goes on my nose, but I just wish it sat a little lower, kind of like this, to give me a full feeling seal. To be honest, this gel seal is incredibly comfortable. Overall, comfort for this mask, I would say is very high for an N95. Voice projection, I would also say is on the high end, hot, medium to high. It's, it's pretty easy to hear me in this. Breathability, very high. It's very easy to get air into this mask. How is it for donning and doffing? Well, it has the quick, whoop, <laughs> it had a good seal on my nose there. It has the quick on and off feature like that. So again, you can take it, take it down without touching it, take it back up and put it back on. So very easy to do that. I like that a lot. That's nice for when you're, if you're gonna take a drink or eat real quick and then you can throw a surgical mask on while you're at your computer. You don't have to take it off every time. It can kind of just hang here. So that's a really nice feature that I like about the Envo mask. Overall feelings of security. This is something that again, I can only speak to because I've used this mask in person and this is probably something that's just psychologically me, but the filter is very small and the air moves very easily compared to even something like a reusable N95. It just seems easier to pull air. Given how much exposed surface area there is on that mask, it just makes me nervous to like intubate someone and have all of that aerosolized material, even with a face shield, coming right back up. Okay, the next mask is the canopy mask. Yep. You can see me through this mask. It's really cool. The design is very futuristic. Like I feel like I'm in a sci-fi movie looking at this mask. And to be honest, 
One of the things right off the bat that I don't love with this is just that it's very big. I'll tell you why it's not that bad actually when I put it on, but I used a large size mouthpiece for this and it's just, it's big, it's bulky, but let's get into it and test it out a little bit before we judge. Okay, so for ease of donning and doffing, uh, this mask has a neck strap similar to Envo. So we'll put that on first and then I'll grab the headgear and just like I do with the Envo, fold it up over my head and voila, it's on. And then I can adjust the neck strap tighter if I feel like I need a, a tighter pull. I don't really. I feel like that's too tight. It's kind of pulling my face in all the way. So loosen it up a little bit. And there you have it. I actually like it. You can see if I'm smiling. You can see when I'm talking. This really helps for patients to read your lips and understand what you're saying. So comfort, very high. It's a large rubber seal that gives a great seal no matter what here. And this head strap is very comfortable, very easy to put on and off. And the nice thing here, check it out, I've complained about this on the other ones, the tubing does not touch my face. So that's limiting acne. And down here, it really stays off my chin and neck. And there's a plastic strap, a plastic strap here that's going to hold it on my neck. So there's not rubber sliding on my neck. Voice projection is next. It's not perfect. This is without the mask and this is with the mask. Is it more significant voice dampening than something like an Envo mask or these other samples? Yes, I would say it is. So voice projection overall, probably the middle of the road. It's medium, it's better than something like an elastometric, which we will show at the end here, but it's not perfect. And that's because you're getting a good seal with a good amount of protection. Ease of donning and doffing, very high. I mean, this is the easiest mask, to be honest, that I've ever used because the headset does not twist. It's hard plastic. It's always gonna stay in the right position and it's, it's shaped like your head. So it just goes right up and over and locked into place and you're done. It comes down, you take a drink. It's not like the Envo mask that's sliding freely on these straps. That is one of my biggest complaints is that it twirls and slides freely when you do this. This, only the headgear moves, the mask stays in place. So once you've decided what fit is best for you, you don't have to adjust it, it's not sliding around on you. This mask has an incredible design filter inside, if you see, so it's, it's similar, it's got a whole bunch of fenestrations though. So it's very tightly folded. To be honest, I feel the most secure just looking at this and they have sent some of the laboratory data. They're pulling ridiculous volumes of air through this mask and getting really great filtration. The other nice thing with Canopy is it's so easy to take this apart and clean it out. And of course you can pull this apart and swap the filter. So everything is modular and cleanable without really any effort, and then it just snaps back together. While we're on Canopy, I wanna highlight some of the incredible things about this mask. First of all, they have an incredibly smart team behind them with people from Google and Hopkins. They made this mask starting only in April 2020, and you can see it's done and ready to go. Of course, they are finishing up the final touches on an N95 certification, but the base level mask is ready. Additionally, given that it breaks apart, you can actually change the colors. And of course, right now, the 90% particle filter is in place, but like I said, that N95 filter is coming. So you could wear this with just a 90% particle filter, or if you're feeling like you need that higher level of protection at N95, the NIOSH certified is going to be coming. Again, these masks are super comfortable. I really recommend you check them out. Okay, last up, we've got the big kahuna, the P100 3M respirator. For the longest time, this is what I was using to intubate. So we'll put it on like this and snap down the filtration, or I'm sorry, the locking mechanism, and then pull on the back. You effectively cannot hear anything that I'm saying. If I need to order intubation meds, I need to order sedation. You can't hear me. It's got a nice big plastic seal or rubber seal. It's nowhere near as comfortable as some of these other masks. I actually find the seal from the canopy to be much more kind on my face. I find the seal from an Envo to be much more comfortable on my face. I use this for a single purpose and that's it, but it's definitely not comfortable to wear for much more than 10 minutes. Voice projection is awful in this. Absolutely abysmal. This is me talking. This is me talking with the mask on. You can't hear anything when I put that mask on. So absolutely, when you compare it to a canopy, you get much better sound in the canopy than if you did when I was using this mask and all of a sudden you can't hear me. So it's a lot better with a canopy or an Envo. Envo, of course, again, talking, 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 it's a lot better. Feel much safer and feel truly the safest purely because it is a P100 level filter. Not much different than an N95, but it is what it is. Ease of donning and doffing for this mask, taking it on and off, I mean, it's not terrible. Again, I like that it's plastic fixed head straps. Canopy did that as well, the plastic fixed head strap, which I really like. I flip the mask up, then I flip the strap up, and then I pull it down. So it's not terrible. To take it off, I actually take this off first, then I go like that, and the mask comes off. 
So donning and doffing, medium. Um, it's not awful. It doesn't slap me in the eyes, so it's definitely better than some of the other options, but it's not the best. It's not super easy to get or not super quick. It can be challenging sometimes to remember to put that on if you're going in a room. Well, there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun to make. I didn't think it was gonna be so in depth, but we really covered everything from a level one surgical mask all the way up to a P100 respirator. Again, huge shout out to Canopy for sending me this. I really like this mask. I think it's really cool that you can look through. It's very futuristic looking. It's very fun to be able to see other people's faces, read lips. It is easy to pull air through this mask. Let me know what you wear in the comments. I'm really curious to hear what mask you use and why. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.